Hi, welcome to Raised Reads. Today we will be discussing We're Going to Need More Wine by Gabrielle Union. Now, this book is really telling of who Gabrielle Union is. She's a straight shooter and she's straight to the point where whatever's going on with her and the book reads like that. So if you were expecting more of a memoir like Shonda Rhimes' book or Elaine Welteralt's book, this is different. This is like she says, we're going to need more wine. This is like you're sitting across a table with someone telling stories about your life and saying, remember when this happened. So it reads more of a collection of thoughts and how they all combine to who she is now and how those have affected her. So she starts off a lot talking about her experience growing up in a white town, how she got so used to the N-word being called to her by her classmates, how she didn't really know her black identity and when she went home to her grandmother's house, how she got more comfortable in her black identity and she learned a lot. And that was really telling for her and her experience growing up. Um, she talks about her relationship, how she got married. She talks about um, conversations around infidelity conversations around periods, conversations around anything really that you could think of. And um, she also tells her story of being raped and sexually assaulted um, and how that experience affected her. And so it was just really, really an honest truth and an honest space. And she does it without apologizing at all, right? And which I find is so rare and it was just very, it was very inspiring for me because she tells the good and the bad and she just says it like it, no apology with it because a lot of times women are told to apologize and make sure they're making space for others and making sure they're not causing any difficulties. But she's like, hey, this is my life. These are the good things I did. These are the bad things I did. These are some things that happened to me. It is what it is. I'm trying to move forward and make sure that I am creating spaces of inclusion and love. And that's what you see in this book. But even looking at her life right now and how she's raising the children that her and Dwayne raise, and they're, they're so filled with love and acceptance. It's so beautiful to see. So I'll get to some specifics in here. All right, so um, Gabrielle Union talks a lot in this book about wanting to make sure that she was seen in a certain light, right? Um, and she talks about it specifically with her first marriage and how when she got engaged, she was telling people and they were hesitant and made her a little hesitant. And then she had found out that her fiance was cheating on her like right after her engagement started. And she wanted to call it off right then and there, but she didn't because of the image that it was going to bring. Her publicist had already put out that she was engaged and she decided not to because she was worried about how it would make her look. And I think that was one of the biggest insecurities she found that she struggled with throughout the book. And it really was the reason she kind of stayed in her marriage so long. And I wonder how many times that in our lives we struggle with, well, what will this look like to others instead of making the correct decision for us and how much pain we could avoid. Um, so I think that was a beautiful lesson that she was able to say um, and that it was something that she's probably still working on in her life right now to make sure that she's creating spaces that are okay with her and not just what everyone else expects and i can understand that that would be so difficult being a star and that everyone's trying to be around you or understand what you're doing and she talks about struggles she had with telling people no and that some days she just wants to be alone and she doesn't want to sign an art graph she doesn't want to have these deep intimate moments all the time with strangers and it was very telling that sometimes she had to lean on Dwayne to say, hey, that's enough, please leave. And even got pushback from that from people saying, you should be, you should be giving me attention, right? And I think a lot of times we break those boundaries with stars because we expect them to 
been to our every will because they're so important to us. And it's a reminder that boundaries still need to take place no matter who it is um, and what they're doing for the world. I also wanna point out, um, there's a part in here that talks about princes parties. And Gabrielle Union uses this as um, the room where it happens, where she, of course, in reference to Hamilton, but saying that a lot of times that black stars have issues with being in spaces um, that are outside of just black Hollywood. And that becomes an issue because a lot of times people cast people that they know or they cast someone who knows someone that they know. And if those groups are always white folks getting together and white talent getting together, then it's hard for her and others to break into that area. And that Prince did it not in a strategic way of combining, you know, black, white, um, Hispanic, all of these different people, but he just knew a lot of people and he wanted to create great atmosphere for people to love to learn and to be enriched in the different ways that they celebrate their art it wasn't just you know actresses and actors it was musicians it was producers it was all of these different people and gabrielle union said it just touched her heart so much to be able to be in those spaces and those spaces helped her in her career and she now wishes that there was someone that could carry on that weight but it hasn't been the same um, so that was a really amazing moment, I think, of connection and something that she was really excited about. And I think it makes it exciting to think about that there are these spaces connecting all different types of actors, producers, musicians all across the entertainment and media world and how it magically comes together. Um, I didn't have any specific quotes from here because it was a lot like just sitting and talking with a friend and just hearing their stories. And as you go along, you're like, mm, that makes sense because I've learned that in my life. And that's how I felt reading this book. Um, so I think this is a great space to get in touch with what's going on in the life of Gabrielle Union. I do wish that she would have talked a little bit more about how she decided to get started in acting and what what made her so passionate about it and what began that that would have been really cool to note it um that would have been really cool to be in here but um overall i really liked it it was a nice like sit down talk i'm in your home we're cool we're homies and it was much different than i thought i was expecting but i loved how close and intimate it felt